All right, so I saw these videos offshore rigs and I used to work offshore. So I wanna take a look at them real quick. Got all the different types of offshore rigs. You got jack up rigs, like what you just saw right there. Semi submersible rigs, which just float. So this is a jack up rig. You can see how it has derricks. They take it out there and then they jack it up on those derricks. And this is a uh, floater rig. And so you have drilling rigs, like that's a drilling rig right there. You have production platforms. This looks like it might be a production platform with a rig on it. All different types of rigs, harsh conditions. You can see See right here pitch black like when you're out there and you look off the side of a rig into the night you feel alone like there's nothing out there it's a really eerie feeling you know this guy right here he throws an apple oranges you're not supposed to throw things off of off of rigs but um, I guess fruit's not <laughs> the worst thing, but it's just pitch black. You cannot see anything out there and tons of sharks, fish. It's just crazy stuff. You know, the sea conditions really vary by where you're at too. If you're in the Gulf of Mexico, it's not that bad. You know, it's pretty calm waters, but here these videos look like they're out in the North Sea and I've never personally worked out in the North Sea and I don't think I could. I'd probably get too seasick. I like the calm seas like what we have right here in the Gulf. Like these guys right here, they're making it look easy just to stay still and not be wobbling all over the place. Like I'd be falling all over. I mean, they're just running like it's nothing. And you have these waves coming up on this boat, you know, out in the Gulf or any offshore rig. The way that you get up to the rig is that you go out to these boats. They drop a, a little basket down on a crane and you get on that basket and you ride up. And so you have to go out on these boats, on these service boats. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to stand up out there, but this is just absolutely insane. So respect for the guys that are up in the North Sea having to do this. So right here, you see this helicopter leaving the helideck. These rigs are out in the middle of the ocean, out in the middle of nowhere. So you either have to take a service boat like what we just watched, and that takes a long time. It can take a few days sometimes. Or you fly out there on a helicopter. And so you have to go through all this crazy helicopter training. You have to know how to get out of a helicopter if it crashes in the water. When you look at this, it's kind of a lonely lifestyle. You're out on these, there's cities out in the middle of the ocean. I mean, you have galleys, you have chefs, cooks, you have the crew that does everyone's clothes, you have the crew that works the drilling rig. You have the crews that work the vessel. You know, the crew that works the vessel is different from the crew that works the drilling rig. And so there are these entire ecosystems where you are living out there 24-7, 365. And so for that, you get paid pretty well if you work offshore. You know, you can go out there and make $100,000 starting out. If you're a roughneck, they usually work on hitches. They work on two-week hitches, sometimes even, you know, month-long hitches. The longest that I've ever been offshore was about a month and a half. I didn't have access to the internet. I didn't have a way to call anyone and so it's just out on this boat for a month and a half with not much to do so you get paid well for it but it can be difficult work it sometimes and you know there's also a spectrum of rigs there's some really nice rigs out there they're decked out with like workout gyms and they have fast internet and satellite tv and then you have some rigs that aren't nice at all so on the pay you know it can start off at a hundred thousand dollars a year but tool pushers, drillers, and some of these higher level senior positions can make up to $300,000 a year working on these vessels.